this is a prototype for a kinetic uh, interactive sculpture uh, based on the concept of isobars. Um, isobars are basically a way to read the weather. Um, they represent um, points of same pressure in space. And uh, pretty much an isobar uh, determines the movement um, of air and the power of, you know, movement of wind and, and movement of air uh, in our planet. Um, in fact, wind basically moves from a high point of pressure to a low point of pressure. And uh, basically, the, uh, um, the way isobars are um, uh, arranged in space determines the speed. Um, for example, the speed of wind uh, it's determined by the distance between a point of high pressure and a point of low pressure. This sculpture is a three-dimensional representation of an isobar. It used um, um, pulleys, ropes, and actually a complex system of pulleys to be precise, eight uh, system of pulleys that works together um, and uh, change each other's shape, uh, which allows the sculpture to uh, morph while keeping its shape. Um, this uh, sculpture, just like an isobar, in fact, is capable of uh, contracting and expand uh, based on barometric uh, pressure. Uh, the way you do so is uh, controlling two key points. One is on the uh, inside uh, pulley system, which is this one. And the other one is by controlling the outside pulley system, which is this one. By controlling this two key system, you can determine the shape of the isobar. So, for a matter of fact, you can actually contract the isobar by pulling one system and easing on the other one, or you could expand it again by doing the opposite. So again, the isobar goes back to its original shapes. The movement of air, just like the movement of water, is planet Earth circulation system. With this project I wanted to create a three-dimensional representation of this physical law with a combination of pulley system like this one, I'm able to uh, recreate a three-dimensional representation of a meteorological map. But yet I wanted to create something poetic with it and that's why I used uh, elements such ropes and pulley which are commonly used on sailmaking and sailboats. I like the idea that as the isobar is morphing, the, the, the person inside the room and inside the installation can feel the rope moving and the pool squeaking. The system is controlled by a digital interface. Um, again, this is a prototype, so it's not connected to anything right now, but um, these two key points will be connected to a motor, and a motor will be connected to a computer. The computer will be able to be connected to the internet, and it will um, read the barometric pressure or a specific uh, a geographic area. Um, based on that data, the isobar, or a combination of isobar, will move and expand and contract based on that value.